Welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little look into Playfair 2016. Right off the bat, my opinions of it, um, these are my own opinions. If you have little kids, or if you are a kid, this might have been a pretty cool thing to do. Playfair lasts for two days, takes place in four sessions. Each session is about four hours. My session was Saturday morning from 9.30 to 1.30, and I have to admit, I did not stay for the full four hours. I was pretty much done with the fair within the first, oh say, two hours. Had a lot of stuff for little kids to do. There was a lot of hands-on activities, but for somebody of my age, there really wasn't much to do. I was really looking forward to that Ladybug and Cat Noir live show, and that was a complete bust. I was really disappointed in that. You would think when it says live show that they would have something scripted, and all they did was a few acrobatics, and then they showed off one of the toys. But even being in the first row, you couldn't even see what they were advertising. If anything, they should have had a display case before or after with some of the toys that Miraculous will be coming out with. I was really hoping to get a close look at some of those toys, and all they did was have a little red box, they pulled out the toy, put it back, and that was the end of it. So that was really disappointing. Nonetheless, I bet you are all wondering what this Cartoon Network bag is for. At the end of the show, they gave out little goodie bags. Bags. In a way, I kind of wish that they had given out these bags at the beginning so that you have some way of carrying all the things that you gather as you are wandering the convention floor. But I can kind of see why they didn't do that because a lot of kids would lose their goodie bags. But they should have given out something so you could carry all the papers and colorings and all the little goodies that they gave out because it was pretty hard to carry all of that. Nonetheless, they gave out these little Cartoon Network goodie bags. And I have not looked yet to see what's inside, so let's spill this out and see what they have. Alrighty, so we have a little card for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that says check this out. And on the back, these are some of the toys that Playmates will be releasing in 2016. And for more information, I'll just show the front of the card again. That's pretty neat. They also gave out these Nexo Night Book of Nights bookmark. Take a closer look at that. I guess these are all the books that will be coming out. Pretty cool. Released by DK. So I got two of those Paw Patrol bubbles. Well, that's pretty cool. They have these teeny tiny little bubbles. And they also included three of these Baboomies exploding surprises. So this is how they work. Smash it, it inflates, and Baboom! Released by Jack Pacific. And as you saw earlier in the video, they were Ninja Turtle themed and I had gotten Raphael. And I like that they have the turtle shell on the back. You can hear on the inside the mechanism or powder pack that creates these to explode. So if you do give these to younger children, definitely be careful that it, they don't step on it and pop the balloon, because there is a little, I'm not 100% certain, but I'm going to say there is probably a chemical pack in here that causes it to expand. Yes, there's a liquid in it. And they are warning if the balloon does pop, discard it immediately. So they gave three of those. Pretty cool. They also gave a Shimmer and Shine activity book. Let's take a look. They have coloring pages, activities, a little bit about the show, and some other activities. And they also gave out Splashlings. Now again, I was really disappointed that they didn't have more toys out on the floor. I would have loved to see some of these Splashlings in the play sets out, but I guess they were saving that all for Toy Fair. They had loads of Shopkins though, but I don't think this is the same company. This is for the ages 5 up. There are over 100 to discover, and these are Wave 1. It has one Splashling inside, only available at Toys R Us. Released by TTP Toys. And there are seven different characters to collect, or seven different themes. So you got Finn Friends, Treasure Pets, Bash Fish, Wiggles, Hip Flips, Swell Shells, and Ocean Gems. 
I will put these aside to open in a little bit. And now that you guys have seen the goodie bags, I'm gonna show you some of the giveaways that they had. I will start off with the introduction of the newest Paw Patrol character. His name is Tracker. So this is Tracker. Hashtag new pup tracker and it says hola amigos. I'm tracker the newest member of the Paw Patrol I have excellent hearing which helps me locate trouble deep in the jungle In fact some of the people say I can hear things even before they happen I have a rugged off-road vehicle that allows me to drive through the rough terrain and my dual grappling hook backpack allows me to swing high through the trees if you're ever in the jungle and in need of help just yelp I'll be sure to hear you. And this was from Spin Master and Nickelodeon. So they gave out these tracker hats. Patrol. Try to get a full look at that. I have to admit, when I first saw them giving out these hats, I thought that the newest Paw Patrol member might be a kangaroo, but it turns out that it is another pup. I believe he's probably going to appear in this newest season because they have changed the theme song. I now see Everest hanging out in the theme song. She's only at the very beginning when they're playing soccer, but hopefully we will be seeing a lot more of Everest and this new pup named Tracker. Not sure what kind of pup he is. Maybe he's a Basenji. Maybe he is some else but we will just have to wait and find out and that will be pretty cool I'm looking forward to meeting this new pup we got a few other items let's drop some of that on the table there we got a sticker that says we know play like Lord Voldemort knows dark magic which was released by the toyinsider.com got this explore New York City with Dora it's a little book they also had stickers but I did not get those stickers and it says, Hola, adventurers! This is your very own passport to make exploring New York City even more of an adventure. Ask a grown-up to visit nycgo.com slash family to start planning. And it is the new Dora series. And it just has a lot of creative and fun activities for little kids. In all different parts of New York. Have, uh, the ferry and the globe. So it's not just from Manhattan, it's also in Brooklyn. We have the five boroughs of New York. We have the Bronx, Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn, and Staten Island. And then these are some of the highlights of things you can see when you visit New York. And next up we have some DC superhero girls. I know I got some of these from New York Comic Con, which I still have not yet um, reviewed. So I will show them off now. So we have this DC superhero girls. I guess this is an information booklet. And the DC superhero girls will be out exclusively in Target. I do believe that the people working the booth did mention that in April some of the other toy stores will start getting the toys in, but there will be a lot of exclusives to Target only. So it's just a little booklet about all the characters. We have Bumblebee, Harley Quinn, Batgirl, Supergirl, Wonder Woman, Poison Ivy. And you've seen all these toys uh, throughout the review. Haven't seen anything for Katana yet. I did not see any of the toys for her. So let's see who else we have. We have Cheetah. I did see her in the cartoon that they were showing. Hawk Girl. Catwoman. Hal Jordan and Beast Boy, who I'm happy to say still has Greg Sipes doing his voice. It doesn't really fit because the character seems older, but who else are you gonna get to do Beast Boy? You gotta have Greg Sipes doing him. And that seems to be it. Here are some of the toys and costumes. So we'll share those again. So keep an eye out in March if you are looking forward to these toys. Then we have the Superhero Girls Story Sampler, Wonder Woman at Superhero High by Lisa Yi. No pictures, so it's just a story. And some more information about the characters. And now you have a Superhero High student ID. And this will be coming out in March as well. And for more information, visit DCSuperheroGirls.com. And then to go along with all that DC Superhero Girls stuff, 
we have this DC Superhero Girls cape. So that's pretty cool. Just has some Velcro on the front so you can get it around your neck. And there we go. Oh yes, and they also had DC Superhero Girls sparkling tattoos. Can't really see the, oh wait, now you can. You can see the sparkles. And that's it for the DC Superhero Girls. Next up, just a quick sticker that I got from Kaizen. And then from Klutz, we have the foldable Jedi Starfighter from Star Wars. And this is the paper. Printed on both sides, which is nice. Have another one. So, this is all about the Star Wars ships and more about folding the papers. And that is what it's supposed to look like in the end, which is really neat. And it looks like they actually have a book coming out, Make 30 Paper Starfighters. Also got a magazine from the Toy Insider, but unfortunately as I'm looking through it, it looks like this must be last year's copy because all of these toys have already come out in stores, so I won't be sharing any of them because the majority of all of these toys you can pretty much find today. And some other items, I got this Kung Fu Panda 3 poster. And for answering some questions, I got this little Kung Fu Panda 3 takeout container squishy. This is the other side of the poster. So that is pretty cool. And now we also have this 2015 exclusive Mega Bloc SpongeBob SquarePants with him wearing a top hat and a tuxedo. And here are some of the other sets that had come out at the same time. I don't know how this is an exclusive because it was from 2015, not 2016, but it is still pretty neat. I am not going to take it out of the package because it is an exclusive. Um, it would be fun to assemble, but you pretty much get the gist of what the Mega Block will look like from what the picture is on the bag. But again, sorry guys, I'm gonna keep it in the bag for now. A few other cool things I got. I got this pin. I did not master the Force, but I did watch some kids mastering the Force. This was actually pretty cool. They had a headband that goes onto your head, of course, and it reads your brain waves and you can control holograms with it and you have to teach the holograms to move droids or do other sorts of actions to get to the next level so that was pretty cool unfortunately the hologram didn't show up on camera so it didn't look like anything was happening but still I believe this is from Uncle Milton and it was really cool to watch the hologram was really neat and unfortunately again i couldn't get the hologram to show up on camera so i couldn't film exactly what it was but just trust me it was pretty cool and we have this pin from uncle milton i find your lack of faith disturbing the force trainer too so they had all different kinds of star wars force training and then i got this button from the mayfair games which is tabletop gaming with the Playfair logo. Moose Toys had a whole section dedicated to Shopkins, but they also had for Quixels and Beatos. They were mostly giving out Quixels, which was pretty neat. You could put together all sorts of different things while you're sitting at the convention. They also had some Shopkins Beatos, but those were only for making in-house. So they had the sword Quixels for giveaway. Ages four up. The cubes that you can join with water. No heat, no glue, no mess. Bring pixel designs to life, so you make you spray, and you play. This is the battle sword. And these are some of the other quixels that you can make. You have a ninja, piranha, kung fu guy, a knight, a skeleton, I guess that's a deep sea diver, a monster, and an archer. And for more information, visit quixelsworld.com. There's also a shark. And this little bag contains one design template, a small tray, one water sprayer, 50 Quixels cubes, and one instruction booklet. I think I might save this for another time to show on camera, but for now, the Quixels are pretty cool. If you know somebody that's really into art, whether they're boy or girl, and they like adventure characters, this is definitely something you might want to look into. And our next up is something I am really curious about trying. In the video, you got to see a bunch of kids trying out these booger balls. So I got a booger ball to take home. Take out the 
this paper out and see if I can get it out of the package. Ooh, it's so squishy and gooey. It's got some water on the inside. Not sure if you guys can see that. It is so gooey. It's squishy and sticky. And this is by Funrise Toys. I'm not going to throw it against the wall because the wall is made out of a substance that will immediately peel away when I try to take this off. And I don't want to throw it at the floor because I don't want it to get filthy. But this is pretty cool. I'm going to squish it. Oh, there we go. Now you can hear the water in there. And that is really neat. If you like something kind of gross, but something kind of fun, this is definitely right up your alley. Booger balls. And for the booger balls, you will not find them in stores as the booger balls. You will find them in these types of packages. So definitely keep an eye out for those if you're interested. Again, released by Funrise, so pretty cool and disgusting. And just real quick to note, these are non-toxic and they are environmentally safe and hand washable. Though they are not for pets or young children, and similar to a balloon puncturing, overstretching, or excessively twisting, the gel ball may cause damage of the product. It is not intended for throwing at glass or other smooth, non-porous surfaces, not for squeezing, stretching, or pulling, which could cause the skin to rupture or break. Gently wash with soap and water and allow to dry to restore stickiness. So that's pretty cool that you can wash it off, but definitely keep that in mind of what not to throw these booger balls at if you happen to buy them. And moving on, something I'm really excited they were giving away. This convention or this play fair seemed to be really big on the DC universe. So they were giving out DC Comics, Secret Heroes Society, Study Hall of Justice. And something you might not know about me is I love to read. I absolutely love books. So getting a free book at Playfair was awesome. I really love books. Unfortunately, I am an incredibly slow reader, so I can't do any kind of book reviews, though if there is a specific book that I might bring up that you guys want me to review, by all means, I will. Just give me a few months to possibly a year, and I will definitely review it. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten to, again, my reviews of New York Comic Con, but if you guys saw just how many books that I was able to get from that convention, you'd think I was insane. And maybe I am, but I love books, I love to read, and to get a book, especially by artists that I used to buy comic books from, this is a win-win. Plus, I got a lenticular bookmark for Wonder Woman, which is really neat. And it is the Secret Hero Society, Even Heroes Have Homework, by Scholastic. And it actually appears to be out in stores today. So let's take a closer look at what the book has in store for us. And it actually isn't so much a book as much as it is a graphic novel. So that is really neat. I love to read, but having pictures is even better. So, shiny book, absolute win. And just real quick, another look at the Playfair badge. Some people got blue bands, some people got black ones, but all in all, it didn't really matter. There's nothing too fancy about that. It's just some information about Playfair. And now, for my favorite giveaway, I was lucky enough to arrive at the convention center early enough where they were giving these away. I was totally not expecting to get one of these, and this has to be basically my favorite part of the convention, is just getting this toy. So, I have to say, I Huge thank you to Toys R Us for giving these away, and there we go. I got a Jeffrey Giraffe. I'm so happy. So again, this Jeffrey Giraffe plush was a huge treat. I was not expecting to get anything quite as cool as this. Another weird thing about me is that I really love plush toys. I love soft, furry, fuzzy things, and this kind of just made my day. So he's got stars instead of spots. And on his foot, he's got the R logo for Toys R Us. And it's happy birthday. So I believe this is, what, the 50th anniversary of Toys R Us? Something like that. So happy birthday, Toys R Us. He's got embroidered eyes. And I love the material that he is made out of. It's so soft and plush and fuzzy. 
and I don't know what else I can say. I just really like this plush. This is him from the back. And he's got a giraffe tail. I actually just looked it up real quick. Toys R Us was established in 1948, so making this year actually its 68th birthday. So making that 68 years old, I think the birthday is actually for Jeffrey, who's roughly about 50 years old. He was originally created in the 1950s, his original name being Dr. G. Raff. So, a little fun fact for you guys. So again, happy birthday Jeffrey or Toys R Us or for the both. I am still super stoked that I was able to get this plush. So thank you Toys R Us and thank you Nickelodeon and all the other businesses and companies and cartoons and toys and everybody for putting together Playfair. Again, I thought the fair could have been a little better. They could have had a little bit more to look at, but with the space they had, they had to work with what they could. So again, if you guys want to see a little bit of this and that but still can't get into Toy Fair, by all means, take a look at Playfair. Hopefully they will bring it back for years to come. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be actually putting those splashlings in a separate video because I think this video has run long enough. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also follow me on Tumblr and Instagram. And until next time, everybody. Kind of makes you wonder how a giraffe got his doctorate. And what was he a doctor of? Doctor of fun times. Doctor of play. <laughs>